Hi, everybody. Thanks for coming back. Sorry, we're a couple minutes late. <clears throat> Shouldn't have answered that phone. Um, I just wanted to show you the towel that we wove, or that I wove on, uh, on Thursday. It's quite beautiful. Gives me tons of ideas for all the other things I can do with this warp. The, the first towel just gives you so many things to look at. We've got our little four by four check in the four corners. We've got this beautiful green here, which is giving us um, vertical stripes here. When we're weaving our checks, we're getting horizontal stripes in the middle. So there's just so many places we can go with this. Um, for this next towel, I thought I'd be a little more prepared than I was the other day. And, and I've just drawn sort of a sketch I know that I have approximately, I, I've allowed 36 inches for every towel, but I'm going to try and use up 32 inches because it's always good to have some inches in reserve for things that may occur. Um, I'm going to start weaving black for three inches. That's going to give me my first little square here plus my hem. And then I'm going to weave the four by four check right here. I'm going to do a big block of just stripes with the peacock. So I'm going to just be weaving with one shuttle and then I'll finish the other end off with three inches of check and my black for my hem and my frame. So it's going to be fun. Just going to wind this back on. Easy way to wind on when you are by yourself is to take your leaf sticks like that and dip them in and then it keeps everything going on nice and straight. so lazy I just hear these sounds and I know I should probably do something about it but I keep going forward because I hate stopping all righty now <clears throat> I'm gonna take my iPad off of here because I know I'll knock it off hmm Elizabeth was gonna try and read questions to me today but I don't know well here what should I do I'll put it on the chair We'll see. I don't know what it's gonna have to do. <laughs> anyway, let's focus on this first and then we'll deal with technical things as we go along. And we move back to my warp. And I just want to show you I have put these two picks of uh of a heavier, <clears throat> pardon me, a heavier thread in. That heavier thread uh, is just me emptying a bunch of bobbins off, and I've got um, four strands of 8-2 cotton just all wound onto one bobbin, and that gives me my heavier thread. Me emptying a bunch of bobbins so, off, um, and I've got um, four <laughs> strands of 8-2 cotton just all wound. Sorry, we're having another momentary technical glitch. <laughs> you can talk, Elizabeth. <laughs> She's standing here with a big smile on her face. Sharon talked through the whole time on Thursday with me. <laughs> anyway, God. how did that work out? How did look at there? She's talking. How did it worked out very well? People were with us. They felt our pain, our technical pain. Pain. Anyway, we're not going to have any problems now. We're just flying. Um, we're going to show those professionals that we can do this. So what I was saying is I threw these two picks. What's going to happen after I take this whole bolt of fabric off of the loom is I'm going to zigzag on either side, on both sides of this uh, heavier thread, the double pick, and then I'll be able to cut right down the center of those two big chubbies and it'll separate my towels and then I can continue to hem, wash, hem, whatever else has to happen. So. I'm just gonna get started with my black, my three inches of black. I'm get my 
position right, my bench back, my spine straight. Right off the bat, get your posture set at the loom. is that bang on one more pick um, I'm gonna tuck my tail so happens to be down I go under it I go back into the shed I push it down you can bring it up to the top too doesn't matter all right now I'm gonna do my four and four Start the purple on this side. So now my outside well, it's down too because I'm on the other side. So one, two, three, four. It's ended on this side, so I'm going to start my peacock on this side and they will scallop up the edge. And I'm going to do this until I have three inches. So it's a little bit more than three, just like I'm at three now, but I am committed to putting in this last purple to make it start on purple and end on purple. For me, I have to put it in. So this is where the math isn't always going to work out exactly, and it doesn't matter. Now I have my first element in. I have my first two elements in, in this piece. I've got my border in black. 
I've got my three inches of this, which is giving me this beautiful horizontal striping here. And now I'm going to weave the, in the next 20 inches, I'm just gonna let it rip with the peacock and I'm gonna end up with vertical stripes here. Horizontal stripes here, vertical stripes here. We'll put this on the other end. Do my little frame. Bob's your uncle, you have another new towel. all this off here so it's quieter. So I ended on this side, so I'm gonna start on this side. One of the reasons I decided, okay, so here's the outside edge thread is up. So you might be able to see this a little better. I'm gonna go, I pull it out, I go over it, and back into the same shed and I push it down. I'm pushing it down right at the color change there, the black color change. It looks good that way. And there we go. So stripe, vertical stripes. One of the reasons I chose to do just a long haul of vertical stripes is so that I could talk to new weavers who might be watching about getting your technique down. So the other day we learned about throw, beat, change, back. Throw, beat, change, back. That's our sequence. Beating on an open shed allows the shed to take what the shed requires. We don't have to handle our salvages at all. And our salvages are pretty darn perfect. They're very clean. On both sides, very clean. I'm not messing with it at all. Um, the best way to get this technique is to weave something with one shadow where you can just let it rip and go forward, constantly going forward rather than forwards and backwards. It's just a towel. Give yourself something, give yourself something easy to work with when you're learning this technique. And just keep going forward. at this point. I could tuck its tail in the same shed that it was and I end up with a double thread. That's one way of doing it and then start it on this side. But why, if I'm going to end up with a double thread on this side anyway, why not just let that come out, take my new thread, overlay it on it, like that, shut the door, change the shed, and then I can trim this back. I now still have a double thread on that side, but I didn't tuck anything. This will get cut off after it's washed. I always do my joints on the side. 
salvage. Because our eye is not drawn to the salvage once the cloth is off the loom. If you do joins in the middle like that, put a splice like right here, you would always see that. Right here, we can see it over here on the edge, that little double thread. No matter how we did it, unless we spliced, it would look like this. We won't see it over here on the selvage, but if it was here, we'd see it. If it was here, we'd really see it. So put those things over on the selvage because our eye is not drawn there after the cloth comes off the loom. edge of the treble board and then I'm just pressing down with my toes. Now this is a spring loom, parallel counter marsh loom. Weaving on these is super easy. Treadling on loom is super duper easy. Very little effort required. So I don't need to have my whole foot on it. But let's say I was weaving on a jack loom and maybe I would have because I would need more leverage with my feet. I scoot my spring forward with my bum a little bit on the bench, allowing my feet to lay completely on the treadles, and that's it. Oops. Can't look at my feet and weave at the same time. <laughs> Gorgeous when it's washed. These two colors are gonna meld. Everything's gonna meld. Yummy.
been a measure. So, where's my thing with my solid straight? Right here. There it is. Right there. So I have almost 13 inches of my 20 done. So I know that I could probably advance twice this time plus one more time before I have to measure again. And Makes that wonderful sound. With that rhythm. Every now and then there's a little speech coming from the right hand side. That's my bird. My little birdie. It's like a metronome. Shuttle weaving goes super fast. So I'm at 17 and a half. I need uh, two and a half more inches. Almost, let's see where we're at. We have, we have our 20. 
and even jazz. And we have 19 and a half. Okay, I'll wind the bobbin over here. sausage. God, this is so beautiful. Look at that. Oh, simplicity is such a beautiful thing. Right, there's my guy. Out. I'm going to come and just overlap on top of them. Like a saw, put in about eight more picks. There we go, and now we can go back to our check. So, um And I can just let this follow up. I'll take this little bang and cut it. But I'll start my purple on the other side and we'll begin the scallop at this point. And the scallop begins right here. close to our three. I think I have one more repeat just looking at, at it and remembering from last time because uh, it was just over three. So there's our three. So I have one more repeat and then we're done. All we have to do is put our black in. Finished with the peacock. Finish with the purple. Tuck this tail. Three inches of black. And we have got towel number two done.
this rhythm is like, it's not a metronome, it's a heartbeat for me. <laughs> is the best thing. My breath in and out. short of three inches. Well, that's pretty close. <laughs> two picks. I need my two picks. One, two. And then I'll put in, I'll be all ready for tomorrow. I'll put in my two little chubbies. I'm not going to want to go back to work. I want to stay and be with you, but we have too much to do because there's not many of us in right now. Like hardly anybody. <laughs> Not many of us. Okay. So that was fun. I hope you enjoyed it. I will. Um, we couldn't figure out how to do questions and weave with a phone, but the picture should be much better than it was on Thursday. So uh, I'll go back to the office and fire up the computer and see if there are any questions and I'll answer your questions there. So I hope this brought a little joy to you today and I hope it's also inspiring you to put something on your loom and work through these days. Eat them well. Bye.